They're preparing for Dorian in Virginia Beach today. Lifeguards started moving their stands further off the beach. They do this every year, but this time they want to beat the storm. 13 News Now reporter Matt Gregory is live at the Ocean Hunt for us, and what are their concerns today? Hey, David and Nicole, their concerns today are quite different from what their concerns will be tomorrow. Today, they're watching the ocean with an eye on everything there and then another eye on Hurricane Dorian's path. On a humid 80 degree day, where else would you rather be? Most likely among the Labor Day leftovers at the oceanfront. And as long as they're out, so are the Virginia Beach lifeguards. So we start scaling down after uh, Labor Day weekend. With a short crew, Captain Mark Levine has to do this interview from his perch. No breaks and he's already working on a plan for Hurricane Dorian's approach. Tomorrow morning, the stands that are manned, we're going to bring back to the seawall. We'll just judge by what the, uh, the tidal surge is supposed to do. Hey, if you're Brian Toothman, you kind of get the feeling Hurricane Dorian is following you. His family just left Hatteras Island because of evacuations. They was already boarding up when we left that night, so the next morning we rolled out. And the Toothmans saw enough of the ocean on Hatteras. Staying away from the beach, we're in the pool. <laughs> Having a good time. Captain Levine thinks that's a good idea. Here on the beach, you're going to suffer the most wind. Um, it's, it's not the ideal place to be. Now, I also spoke with the city of Virginia Beach about the beach renourishment project, the one that's been going on all summer to find out what the status is of that. Well, they've stopped, but not because of Hurricane Dorian. They stopped because the seasonal work ends right around this time of year, Labor Day, and then they'll start up again. But it was about 75% complete at that point, so there's still another quarter to get done. For now, at the oceanfront, I'm Matt Gregory, 13 News Now.